Right guys, good morning from Tallinn and uh, this morning I'm taking a ferry uh, with Ekerö line and it is the Finlandia which apparently is ama it looks amazing it's supposed to be amazing more like a cruise ship so I've been told anyway um, I'm at the terminal now I'm gonna go and check in and then in about an hour and a half's time after I've had a, several coffees I would imagine I will be getting on board and letting you guys know what it's all about I'll see you in a bit Yeah, so this particular ferry docks at Tallinn Ferry Terminal A. You have to be a little bit careful here because not all the ferries arrive apart from this particular terminal. And there's also terminals B and D. I don't know what happened to Terminal C, to be honest. Uh, if it ever existed at all, please let me know. Anyway, it's just a short walk from the city centre, 10 minutes maximum, I would say. And you go through the entrance into quite a big space actually with uh, ticket offices for a carer and Viking line behind you and a small kiosk opposite. Cost of the ticket one way today was 19 euros. Uh, the foot passenger departure area is just up the stairs behind the kiosk and once on that floor you pass through the ticket barrier and into another waiting area which has got a great view of the dock. Uh, you can see our ferry just arriving in the distance there. Uh, and the crossing to from Helsinki takes around two and a half hours and I, t I tell you what, they don't hang about when they're coming into port, do they? Uh, you can see here the covered gangway and as we made our way along it uh, there were some great views of the Finland here and its distinctive blue hull and white paintwork. And built around 2000 in South Korea, it was originally sailing around the Italian coast for Moby Lines under the name Moby Freedom. It was sold to a Kera line in 2012 and has been operating the Tallinn Helsinki route ever since. Uh, the first thing I did really was tr just to try and get an idea of where everything was on the ship. Uh, there were handy deck plans available, as you would expect, and it seemed to me that most of the facilities were located on decks 7 and 8, uh, with most of the cabins sandwiched between them and the car decks, handy for the car alarms, I guess. Now, I went out onto deck, deck 9, uh, which I would imagine would be quite a pleasant area when the sun's out. Uh, to be honest, it was a bit grim today, and most of the covered area was basically just the smoking zone. And understandably, the deck bar was actually closed today. There was lots of deck space to wander around on and I had a great view of the port and the various other ferries and cruise ships that were moored up in this area. Now whilst lorries were loaded on through the front of the ship, the cars made their way up this ramp and in through the sides, you can see here. Well I too made my way back inside and had a look at the main entertainment zone or the dance bar known as Bar Nosturi. Uh, it was already quite busy in this area and ordinarily I guess there would be entertainment on the main stage. Uh, no such luck today unfortunately but we were at least on our way. Tell you what, guys, Tally looks a little bit different this morning. None of the blue skies we had yesterday or the evening before that. So, probably, I've kind of picked a good day to come out to see. There again, I'm not sure we're going to see a lot. And uh, a couple of hours, I think we're, we left a little bit early. But yeah, I think we'll be pretty much in Finland my first time there uh, yeah I'm not sure whether we'll see much on the approach but we'll see how it goes and in the meantime I'm going to explore a little bit more of the ship
Right, so I wandered back inside onto Deck 8. Uh, in amongst all the fruit machines, I found this bar area called Pub Tilaka, uh, which served very nice coffee, actually, with a friendly member of staff on hand as well. Uh, as you can see, it was very busy this morning, and seating was at a premium. Uh, there were some large windows along this deck, and I made my way along to the pop-up shop, uh, which seemed to sell some random clothes and bags. And I guess if you need that sort of thing on a ferry, then fair enough. After that, I found another bar area, uh, which was closed. Uh, some more fruit machines. Uh, then the Bistro and Cafe Saitama. And uh, now this, combined with the Buffet Echo and nearby, were the main areas for your substantial meal offerings. And you've got the stairs here to Deck 9, where there's an extended covered area, though I didn't find it a particularly comfortable place to sit and relax in. It was a bit early for me, and I'd already had breakfast, so I headed back out and down to Deck 7. And this was a much quieter area, and was also the location of the driver's sauna, believe it or not. But I've never seen one of these on a ship before, have you? Uh, there are some cabins on this deck, and past them I found the information desk, uh, which also sells cigarettes, and the main shop, which, uh, believe me, was absolutely vast. Now, I haven't been on many ferries where they actually provide shopping trolleys outside for its customers. Uh, the shop was closed initially, but I did come back later for a mooch around, just to give you an idea of the place, really. The usual ferry shop items, I guess, just lots more of them. I was desperate for coffee by now, so I headed back down to the pub Tilaka, where, much to my surprise, some entertainment was to be found. And I was treated to, amongst other things, a lovely rendition of the John Denver classic, Take Me Home Country Roads. Just came down here to the, like, side bar uh, area. I don't even know what it's called, to be honest, and there is actually some entertainment going on. Which is great, and I've been able to get a coffee as well. There we go. And even better, I've managed to get a seat. So, about an hour to go. Less than that now. I've got about 45 minutes. See you in a bit. And after all that excitement, I had to go in the lift and went back up to deck 9. We were about an hour and a half into the sailing by this time and I optimistically thought the weather may have improved slightly as we neared the Finnish coast. Uh, maybe not. Guys, as you can see, there's some beautiful views out to sea today. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, well, we've got uh, about an hour to go to Helsinki, although it could be six hours because you wouldn't be able to tell one way or the other. Anyway, just a few thoughts about the boat. Yeah, it's um, it's big, um, looking a bit tired in places, I would say. There's loads of fruit machines everywhere. I can't get over the amount of food machines there are uh, in every nook and cranny. Um, there's a massive shop, probably, probably the biggest shop I've ever seen on a ferry. Uh, so much so that uh, there's actually a stack of trolleys outside you can push your way around. And yeah, people are buying up the duty free and all sorts of stuff you can get there. And um, yeah, bars, cafes, all really busy today. There's lots of people on this boat just finding somewhere to sit. Spaces at a premium, really as we get coming to Helsinki, hopefully I'll be able to show you some of the sights. Fingers crossed, eh?
Like I, well, apparently, we're in Helsinki. <laughs> the boat is definitely um, just turning around now and it's going to reverse. I'm sure that's not the correct nautical term. Reverse into the dock. And then, yeah, I guess uh, somewhere over there is, is the city. <laughs> I've got no idea. Um, and I, I don't know how you get there either. Um, so the um, strategy I'm going to deploy uh, is just to follow everybody else. I think that's um, you know, as good as, good as any, anything, isn't it? Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, coming back today on another ship with the biking line. So we'll see what that one's like and how it stacks up against this one. And um, yeah, until then guys, pleasure as always and cheers for now.